Yes, sir, indeed. Map number one. Moon versus Shao Kai. Let's get it on. In case you guys don't know yet, on the Twisted Meadows, on the new Twisted Meadows, it is always cross spawn. Which um, certainly makes the map a lot better, a lot more playable. One of the first heroes. Could be Blade of Fossier, could be Keeper, or Demon Hunter. Moon is normally insanely good with a Keeper. But it's Demon versus Fossier. I have been speculating. I feel like Fasir might match up fairly well against Demon Hunter. If you harass him early before he gets level 2 mana burn. That's just specula speculation though. Um, I'm not sure if it would actually work. Nobody's doing it. I can tell you that much. But I feel like in theory... Uh, Fasir should work much better against Demon Hunter than against Keeper. In the early game at least. Out from the wolves, or from, from the wisp, rather. Oh, I got a nice detonate off. Damage one of the wolves and drain the boss here. Nicely done. Items for the demon. Not the very best, but honestly. Oh, he's not even going immolation. Oh, that's smart. He held the skill point, seeing the boss here, goes for mana burn, and then evasion. Oh yeah, I wasn't thinking of that. <laughs> In that case, of course, uh, Fasir might be a lot worse. That's a fast level two. Mana burn right away. Oh my god, this is not a fun start. You can burn him again. Oh, could have burned him again. A player's forces are under attack. Tough beginning here for Shao Kai. Tech starts for Moon. Shao Kai also on his way to tier 2. And of course, Shadow Priest here. So good for a bit of dispel in the early game. Oh, Shao Kai. Taking a risk, trying to go for the Merc Camp. If he gets jacked here, this would be a disaster. Moon is uh, looking elsewhere. He's lacking a few Wisps. Where are the Wisps for scouting? There should be like one Wisp here, one Wisp here, or maybe one in the north, but there's no Wisps anywhere. That means the Foss here gets the big creep, picks up the items, and it's level 2. Ancient of War creeping here though. Demon are getting quite close to level 3 already. Double mantle. Very bad for the demon. But for the second hero, this could be very nice. A player's forces are and I wonder what's the second hero gonna be? Sells the big mana potion. Keeps one mantle. Okay. So normally it should be Naga or Panda. Or Keeper. Keeper can also be pretty good. Oh, wow. Tons of mana on this boss here. At least a huge mana pool, but not a lot of actual mana in the tank right now. Oh, 
Dark Knight has to expand. He knows his Farseer will fall off more and more over time, so he has to get the mid-game advantage through an expansion. Alright, tier 2 finished. What's the second hero? It's gonna be lower play here by the look of things. A player's force is we did go emulation. Still. For creeping. 1-1-1 one, one, one build on the demon. Is he playing Demon Hunter solo? What? That would be kind of cool. Also kind of weird. With solo hero on tier 2 and tier 3 you get bonus experience. Good timing here for Zhao Kai. Picked up the Naga and he's got way more strength out on the map now, it would seem. No expansion, however. Alright, Moon getting pressured. He doesn't have much army here at all. This is quite scary. Looks like he's gonna need some Wisps to defend. Going for a shop now as well. This is a surprisingly scary timing by Zhao Kai. Knocking at the front door with 40 supply. And the Demon Hunter isn't level 4 yet. Doesn't have the level 2 burn yet. Way so close. One wolf will suffice. Oh, and he yeah, had the peons. Okay. Tower push coming. And this. Dude, this might work. Moon is going tier 3. He still needs a long time as he's finally strong. He's got hardly any units. Detonate. That's level 4. Okay, that's an important level up. Evasion level 2. No mana burn 2. Out comes the first bear using the rejuve right away. Pulls it back. The Naga in trouble. She's got the invuln. Surviving with that. Moonju is still looking pretty good. But it's all about buying time for the towers. A town is under siege. Shao Kai has not enough lumber for the reinforced defenses, by the way. So, these towers could always be destroyed quite easily. Demon are getting attacked by everything, but he's looking tanky. He's looking mighty tanky. Almost gets the Naga kill with the mana burner. Wasn't quite enough. TPing out. Low mana, low HP. It's a rough position still for Moon. One Moon well is still there, full, but not enough to fully heal the demon. Waiting for the new bears. Waiting for the new rejuve. And the towers are up. Oh, Zhao Kai. <laughs> with a burrow as well. And more towers. But of course, these are paper mache towers. Master training coming for the bears. Wait, no hunters all? Does that mean no bears? No. No tier 3 means no bears. This might work. Dude, Moon just keeps getting cheese today. <laughs> First by Shik, now by Shao Kai. And yeah, this worked out perfectly. Like, it's a greedy strat. Demon Hunter solo, tier 3 rush. That's greedy. And Moon is getting punished for it. Shop now up in the back. Four towers standing. And more to come. He's trying to go for the counter attack. Are under attack. Oh, but here we now have reinforced defenses. That is going to make this counter attack pretty much laughable. He's able to intercept the demolisher. That's good. But this base is totally exposed. Demon has to staff away. He's taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, Reinforce is going to be finishing any second, which means at home the peons with the burrows can defend, I think. Who 
Everyone is trying to force his opponent to TP back home. Of course, ideally, Zhao Kai shouldn't take that bait. He's going for the Tree of Eternity. It's super hurt already. No nature's blessing. Moon is trying to repair. He's got lots of resources to do it. That might not be enough in the end. And now we have the peons inside the burrows. Lots of them. d is very tanky, though. So I have to take that one out. Of course, once the tree is gone, uh, Jokai can just TP home. Doesn't have quite the gold, though, I guess. Oh, the rejuve here is huge. Now, we have the TP. Mass peons are low, trying to go for the repair. Oh! But the tunnel might fall. The stronghold. Or does it? Oh my god. 50 HP. So much repair. It is too much. And Moon has to GG again. The third map lost today by Moon. Again. To a cheese. Second tower push of the day. Quite the surprise. Quite the surprise. Moon can still bring it back. Of course. But these cheeses are surprisingly effective today. Is Moon gonna get too old, too old? That would be crazy. Moon is one of the best players in the world. Something today seems off though. What exactly it is, I'm not sure. I guess he's playing a bit risky. This game, it wasn't so much that the scouting was the problem. It's just that he had a very weak mid game. Which he was getting heavily punished for. All right, we're getting ready for map number two. It will be autumn leaves. Moon, when's he gonna find his mojo again? You can't tell me he's getting 2 0 twice. By Sheik and Zhao Kai. No way is he gonna get 2 0 twice. Right? Right, chat? Right? This is Moon we're talking about. Well, we'll go with the flow here. It has been quite the surprising day. An unusual day in terms of strategies. Blade Master against Keeper. So this all of a sudden just looks like a standard game. Dude, I'm not sure if I've ever seen Shao Kai play Blade Master standard against Night Elf. Thank you, Rick Prime, with the resub. Blade Master nowadays uh, a lot better in this matchup against Night Elf because there's no easy Ultra Vision anymore for the Elf. But still, it takes a lot of experience. 
and a lot of practice to play this Blade Master perfectly. Which... I would say it's not going to be easy for Xiao Kai to pull off. Let's get a fast shop. Wants to instant harass, perhaps. Oh, speed scroll popped. Oh, if he gets lasted here, that would be big. And is he going to be in time? This is a big moment already. And he gets it! Almost the tree end as well. This means the keeper is going to have a very tough time getting to level 2. Because this camp, I think, is not enough. Right? Oh, wow. Moon going for an instant expansion. The Grunt should be scouting for this. Exactly. The Blade Master can track the keeper, and the Grunt should be scouting around to see what's going on. Forces are under attack. Is he going to look top left, though? Checks the main, sees no tech. That's very suspicious. Shao Kai should use the grunt, keep scouting. Going for the wisp is a bit of a bit of a bait. Oh, he doesn't see the tree. Lucky break for Moon. If this tree had been found, it would have been a disaster. And the first little mistake by Zhao Kai. Zhao Kai gets the telly staff though, that's a big deal. Dude, imagine if he had seen the tree. Imagine if he kept scouting with the grunt. And that's the thing with Blade Master. You there's a lot of things that you have to do perfectly to play the strat very well. Now, Zhao Kai knows, but now it's too late to cancel. The base is wide open, so these wisps are quite exposed indeed. That windwalk also seemed to be a bit wasted. A town is under siege. Expansion here is not that hard to creep, especially with Treants. A player's forces are under attack. I think I like to see Shadowhunter second creep this gold mine instantly, and then just counter expand. Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub. Runs in position, and the blade master is ready to harass. Oh, oh my God! He almost got the staff cancelled. Ooh, that would have been bad. So he's creeping the camp without the shadow hunter to clear it faster. It's gonna be a fast counter expansion. Keeper, is he gonna get level three here? Late hunter's hall for moon, by the way. Mostly archers so far. On this map, which is one big reason why it's tough for Orc, is uh, that the Shadowhunter has a very hard time creeping. And I come a second, of course, and yeah, the Keeper didn't quite get level 3 here from this camp. Wait, it's Mirror Image. Mirror Image level 2, that's kind of cool. Alchemist solo harass, preventing the expansion for now. Blade Master trying to get across the map and uh, cancel the entangled, maybe, but it might be too late for that. And one got fall, and the second one also about to fall. Seems like Moon is 
getting in the groove again. Shao Kai perhaps creeping a bit too ambitiously. A player's forces are under attack. Losing two grunts here hurts a lot. Where's the first shaman, by the way? Oh, we had the rally point on the blade master. Oh, that's a mistake you can't make. That's the rainer going down. That's level three keeper. That's the next entangle. And these are the mistakes you can't make when you play blade. A player's forces are under yeah, the experience isn't quite there of when to exactly creep, when to exactly expand. Shao Kai played a great early game. Early game was wonderful, but he made a few little mistakes. And that's the thing about Blade Master. It's very unforgiving. A player's forces are under attack. Finds the Book of the Dead. That is a playmaking item. Which I kind of need to play. Everyone is looking in such a strong position now. Keeps on creeping. The only thing he's lacking here is level to the Alchemist. Shadowhunter is still only level 2. The Shadowhunter is normally the carry in this late game. In this matchup. So you want him to level up fast if you can. This has not been successful at all so far. Moon has perfect vision. A player's forces are under attack. We're not going tier 3, by the way. Just gonna go for a big tier 2 push. Gonna pick up some scrolls as well. It's gonna be a strong timing. Ooh, baby. Lionhorn. Super good. Camp will give the level 3 to the Alchemist, which he so desires. At long last, the Shadow is level 3 himself, but it's late. It's very late. Three supply lead. Oh, 26, excuse me. I'm going to close up this game. Wisps as well, ready for the detonates. We got APs coming in the meantime. The front line is minimal for Shadow Not many grunts. No armor upgrades either. Alright, we'll go for that summon in the back. Purge on the Wisp, that's kind of cool. Prevent the Dispel. But still, the actual army here seems to be tiny for the Orc. A lot of uh, special effects. Lightning shields, Scroll of Protection, Purges. This is the least being used, but in the end, Moon is just too far ahead. He had a huge, enormous supply lead.
And his army here still looks, looks uh, fairly safe, fairly healthy. The AP is now finishing. Moon is looking to close out the series, finally! Moon is going to get on the board. Is trying to go for a counter attack, but of course that looks very diff, uh, very desperate. He finds some freebies on the way. That's good. But he's losing his main in the meantime. Base taken out, TP home. Lightning shields here could be quite effective. The Shaman don't have too much mana anymore. And the archer's back here. So perfectly protected behind the wall. A bit of shadow melt block as well. That's cool. Ah, okay, non big with the reset, thank you. Wait, he has detection somehow. Blade Master, though. Last second save with the heal wave, but of course the game is over. GG. Town is under siege. And Moon gets the 1-1, ties up the series, and is still alive in the tournament. For once, he didn't get cheesed. This was just a straight up normal game, very standard. And that's unfortunately where Shao Kai doesn't have that much experience with the Blade Master. And, well, it showed a little bit. Blade play needed to be a bit more precise. But imagine if the Grunt hadn't wasted its time in the early game. He finds the expansion, he cancels the tree. It's almost GG right away. So, Moon dodged a bullet, dude. He could have been 2 0 today really easily. We'll see if his redemption arc now will finish with him still making it through. Moon was uh, one of the best players in Ted Cup 12. He made it to the final, I think, right? Do I remember this correctly? I think he was in the final against Happy, right? Yeah. Was in the final against Happy where he lost. But at the moment, things are looking a bit more rough for Moon. Map 2 will be Last Refuge. This is a great Demon Hunter map. We just saw how strong Moon is with the Keeper. But here... I feel like... Basically, regardless of who the Night Elf is, Demon Hunter just looks way better on LR, in my opinion. Way better than the Keeper. All right, decision time, map three. Who's it gonna be? Oh, okay. We have a bug. Need to rejoin. Wait, what? Only I had the bug. For everyone else, it's working. Mm. That kind of sucks. Okay. And 
we may have to do a restream here. Give me a second. I'm trying to see if I can get Flow TV to work. If not, we'll have to do a restream. All right. Uh, we have to wait for a few seconds, for a minute, and then we'll see if I can join the game. That would be cool. Moon seems to be finally coming into his own. Would have been. Almost a scandal if he had been too old, too old. But it seems like he's getting a grip on the dangers uh, of what his opponents are doing today. Moon still has a chance to make it through in second place. If he wins the next map, he'll have a chance to get revenge against Sheik. All right, the waiting period is almost over. And then we hope that it will work. Three, two, one. All right, moment of truth. Damn. It doesn't seem to be working. Give me one more minute, folks. It seems like we may have to go for the restream, unfortunately, which is not ideal, but we'll still get to see the game. That's for show. Uh, yeah. Okay. We have to do the restream. That's too bad, but all right. It is what it is. So, let's check out the restream for Ted for map number three. Thank you, Jake Maddock, gifting us up to Zaza. So, uh, we missed the first three minutes, but we're in now. Shao Kai in the top right. Of course, the score is 1-1. One, one. This is uh, not quite correct here, what is displayed at the moment. Do the demon hunter. Jeez. Oh, man. He's living on the edge. But gets the level three here very early. Same for the fast here, though. Level three and Zoe Mask. Does the demon hunter have enough juice to fully heal up? Oh, yeah, easily. Okay. 
That's good. I'm going with a whole bunch of archers here, by the way. No archers all. So, talents, I guess? Or is it just archers? Oh, Flute of Accuracy. That's a nice item for the archers. Improved bows. And this is the perfect strat to hold a push, by the way. Mass archers, mass mercs, strong demon, naga second, no tier 3, just massing units. Oh, if Shao Kai tries to all-in push against this, I don't know how that's supposed to work. Moon even has a shop already. Moon seems perfectly prepared. Completely, perfectly prepared. Creeping one more camp before the attack hits. Demon Hunter now quite close to level 4 already. The wolves are still kind of scary, but look at that. Even the wisps are coming in for the detonate. Oh, and he got... Okay, just one detonate. But at least the one he landed. Demon Hunter taking a lot of damage. We'll have to TP soon. And there he does. Grunt goes down. Naga level 2. Now we got the fork lightning. And there still seems to be plenty of moon juice left over. Towers are coming, but I think moon should be able to hold you pretty easy. Finally, he turns on immolation. It's going to be level 4 very soon, and then he can go for evasion again, I think. Speed scroll popped, everything's so hurt, and yeah, this push does not work out at all. The push was successful on Twisted Meadows, but their moon played very greedy. This time, it's a completely different story. He was ready. He made sure to play safe. And this was this was an easy game. This was the easiest win all day today. GG. And that is Moon still alive. He uh, was... Uh, he was shaking. He was scared. He could have lost that series on map 2 if the blade play had been a bit better. But Moon does win. Does make it through. And does survive. For one more chance. And now... It's going to be interesting. Because now we're going to have the rematch. Moon versus Sheik. Coming up next. Can Sheik beat him again? Can he cheese him again? Or is Moon fully awake finally? We're going to find that out in a little bit. Again, this is going to take a little while. Because the players need to rest up for a second. And get the vetoes in. So we go into a break right here as well. I'll see you guys in a few minutes for the last game of the day. The rematch. Moon versus Sheik. Can Sheik do it again and make the miracle possible? Or is Moon going to strike back? We'll see in a bit. <laughs> 